This is Otabo. We are made in Africa. I killed a man last night, and I will kill you. You see, classy women, they do champagne. And I like my woman, classy and sexy. <laughs> In your drink, I mix the venom of the viper. You don't have to do this anymore, you know. I will kill them all. You are a dead man already. Please, Mike, tell me after two days you have something to show us, because that would be a perfect way to say good morning. Look, Agent Samuel, I am sorry to break your heart. There is nothing in this security footage that will help your case. What? That's the fact. Uh, I'm sorry? Are you trying to say a ghost killed our victim, Mike? I think that would be a better question for you to answer yourself. Really? I should answer the... Because it is not my area of specialty to find out how a ghost kills a victim, or even a victim killing a ghost. Look, Mike. If you can't answer a question properly, I suggest you look into this footage and tell us what happened. Because I don't think a ghost killed our victim. Somebody walked in there and did the job. And we need to know who it is. So you do your job, Mike. It's just someone I'm doing my job properly. You are? Yeah. Maybe you should come look into it yourself. Oh, I should come look into it myself? Yeah, guys, guys, really? guys, 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 come on. Like, we're on the same team here, remember? You think so? So people actually play both sides. Who knows? Seriously, Simon, like, really? Please. Mike, don't listen to this, okay? Tell you what, do you think you can go through the security footage? Just one more time, please. please you never no know problem. what you might find. There's no please. problem, I will, I will. Please. When I'm done with this one I'm doing, I'll, I'll, I'll sort you out. Thank I you. just need a little more time too. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Becca, nobody tells me please or thank you when I do my job. And you're telling him that, let him do his goddamn job. Simon, really? You know what, Becca? I'm taking a day off. Simon, no, seriously? Really? Yes, Becca, I'm taking a day off. 
I haven't had a day off in the last six years. I mean, dealing from one case to the other, this dead body to that dead body, like, what the hell? I mean, I'm losing my mind in here. People just can't stop dying every day and we have no control over that. I mean, I need to calm my nerves and stay away from all these dead bodies. Like, really? Simon. What, Becca? Okay, okay, okay. I'll miss you too. And you know, because I don't want to miss you, I can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. We gotta catch this one, like, seriously. Do, do we? Do we? Yes, now. Dealing with this man over here. Do your goddamn job. Somebody needs visit this morning. Did you at least say good morning first? Mm -mm. Hello, Cynthia. How are you doing? Good morning. How's work? <laughs> Time of death, 1.15 a.m. It was a slow and very painful death. So what use is your good morning? Autopsy shows that there was a problem with his blood, which led to paralysis and cardiac arrest. It took about 15 to 20 minutes. It was slow and definitely painful. Whatever killed him had a time in the whole world. So we're looking at homicide, yeah? Mm. It seems so, but by what and by who? She also thinks he's a ghost. Stop it. So can we really know what killed him? There are many things that could lead to the possible death of a human. Some are gunshots, knife wound, forced or struggle, which could be caused by strangling or choking. And all of this leaves physical impact on the body. But in this case, there was none of such evidence. Mm. So... So is none of the examples that I said. They will look at other causes like substance taken or injected into the bloodstream. Oh, God. Can you just get to the point already? Can you just, Why you just shut up for a second? God. We cross-examined the body and there were no evidence of anything being injected. So we took one final road. And yet, traces of substance was in his mouth. Cause of death is by intake. In other words... Poison. Uh-huh. Finally. <laughs> Party for two, huh? Bad boy, Mr. Huffman. Can we really know what type of poison this is? I did some research, mm. and I found similar cases in America, India, and most recently, South Africa. Cause of death, most definitely the venom of a viper. A snake? Yep. Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you trying to tell me a snake killed him? Yep. Are you saying a snake shed the second glass? I don't know about that, but it could possibly be in his drink. But we cannot find that out because the water washed out every traces in the broken glass and there was none in the glass of the guest. So, no print. No print. Kila is a very careful person. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we're done here. Thank mm -hmm. you, Cynthia. If there's any more information before I'll let you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You've been helpful. <laughs> um, yeah. Good morning. Now bye. Do, do, do. And based on forensic reports, I mean, you've got to agree that it's poison, but the venom of a viper, now that scares me. I mean, why go that extreme? No. I mean,
He must have done something to die this way. Come, take a look at this picture. Finally, the prodigal son returns. There's something wrong with this man. <laughs> okay. Two seconds ago, you came to put us on our job. You said you had something. Now you have nothing. Are, are you okay? Wait, no, but I've not said anything. Let me speak. It's okay. We're listening. Let it. Please. Let it speak. Actually, I really could not figure out who came in or who went out from the hotel that very night. Yeah. That looks suspicious. Okay. You understand? Mm. Because everyone looks like a guest. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it was as if they are putting on uniform. And they all walked to the reception as soon as they got to the hotel. But there's a problem with one person here. Okay, take a look here. The image here shows a lady. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How this lady came into the hotel? I can't tell. She did not drive in and nobody drove her in too. So I'm still thinking how she got in and I'll continue to think until I find out. The next place I saw this lady was in the hotel bar. Maybe she was trying to take one or two bottles. I don't know. Mm. She wore glasses like I do. And I noticed she was trying to avoid my cameras, but I focused. Before I could remove something from my eyes, this woman has disappeared from her seat. I looked for her front and back, left and right, I could not see her. The next place I saw her was in the hotel hallway. In my very before, this woman disappeared. Though I wanted to be scared, but I held myself strong. I said, no, I cannot afford to be scared by this time because of the series of killings. She reappeared again from nowhere, but my camera caught her. Mm -hmm. You understand? I hope you're following. Uh, so, the worst happened again. This woman disappeared for the last time. That was when he dawns on me that obviously this woman knows how to avoid cameras. Very smart. Yes, because I tried everything possible, mightily possible, to capture her full image. But she was busy disappearing and appearing. So, we're dealing with a woman here? Yeah. Funny thing is, I never thought it was a man. Interesting. Do me a favor, Mike. Please, print out this image. We need to get back to the hotel as soon as possible, Michael. Yeah. You think it could be someone at the hotel? I don't know, but somebody in the hotel must have seen her come in and leave. I must get to it though. At least you know how to do your job this time. Hello, who, who am I speaking with? I spoke to you about a week ago. My name is Sandra, the lady from France. Oh, 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 I remember. The lady with the property case. Okay, I remember. 
But you said you were going to bring in the documents for me to re-examine before we can proceed with the case. I did actually. I brought it to your office, but unfortunately I missed you. I was told you just left. Um, anyway, I'm on my way home now, headed towards Lekki. And I couldn't drop the documents off because I'm not comfortable giving Oh, I'm so sorry. I just stepped out of the office. I had a meeting to attend. Uh, but wait, did you say you're on Lekki Road? Correct. Wow, what a coincidence. I'm just driving towards there too. Okay, I'll pull over at the fourth roundabout. Okay, I'll see you then. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Could you tell your manager that he's got some guests, please? Right. Thank you. Hi. All right. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, Miss Rebecca. Rebecca uh, Simon, you're here. Over there. Oh, over here too. Uh, all right. Yep. There's no way to say this. He'll join you immediately. All right. Just relax. Please. Thanks. We'll stand. Thank you. Mm. Oh dear, there's a light now. Mm-hmm. Probably two securities on the side, you definitely did so. so. Sorry for stopping you like this. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Uh, it's good that we uh, are meeting at last. Huh? Yes, please. It's a very good thing that we met. You see, I actually live tonight. And I would have loved to show you some really important information on this document. But I don't know if you'll be able to go through it considering we're parked on the road. Just a few minutes to spend. Just five minutes. That's all I need. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. But it's all right. All right. Mm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. That's fine. Uh, we just have some new leads that I would like to discuss with you. Oh, okay. Um, whatever we can do to help. Okay. Please, may we talk in my office? Sure. Thank you. I'm sure with just all these things that I've pointed out, we should be able to start somewhere. Uh, yes, very well. I, I think we have enough documents for us to have a good case. Oh, yes. With time. I think you can lay your hands more on documents that can help us proceed in the case. Of course, yes, I will. Um, thank you so much for your time. I will be leaving now. I've told you, you don't need to mention, okay? Uh, I'm mm -hmm. so very glad that we met. Um, oh. Oh, that's your key? Yes. Okay, don't worry, let me get it for you.
that's why we believe that this is the suspect we're looking for. The problem we're having now is trying to figure out how she managed to come in and out of the hotel without being noticed. Some cameras picked her and the rest did not. Mm. She cannot just reappear and disappear again. Officer, you see, this looks so scary. We are trying everything possible to manage this situation so they doesn't speak ill of the hotel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it will be bad business for us. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can relate to that. But you do understand that we have a job and an investigation to carry out. And none of that can be compromised or restricted in any way. I understand you perfectly, madam. Mm -hmm. And we promise to give you every support you need. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, but we beg you to just keep it on a low key, please. I mean, we already have press people trying to come here to uh, ask people some questions. We don't want to close down our business. No, it's, it's okay. And we understand that perfectly. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. we don't intend sh to shut your business down anytime soon. No. You haven't given us any reason to. And as long as you don't, you can keep this place open for as long as you like. Oh, thank you very much. Just like I said before, we are ready to give you every support you need. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't mind if we still hang around a little bit and ask some of your staff some questions. Oh, yeah, you can do that. I mean, I will show you the way to the conference room so that you can um, ask some few staff some questions. No problem. Yeah. Please, if you'd excuse me. One second. See, um, um, Agent Rebecca, we are so sorry for the experience. I understand, but you see... Yes, this is Agent Simon. What? Where? We'll be there shortly. Thank you. Simon! Becca, we have to go right now. Yeah, but what was, Simon, wait! Wait up! Simon! We have to go to the office right now. What was that call about? Another body. Another body? Oh, it's like KG of Dylan, Mark Chambers. Oh, Just right. found dead. <sighs> okay. But you send the body to the lab so we should get there right away. Right. Tell the church the sins committed by these men you put in the front pew of your church. <laughs> 